center blocked or wet. Clean, dry, and retry. With regard to that error about the filter being clogged or wet, I've been investigating. Probably I should have bought this camera with me before I started the investigation. I've been told on weekends I should always have a GoPro on my forehead because apparently I'm always getting up to this kind of mischief. I opened up the vacuum cleaner a little bit to investigate and a little bit turned into a lot and then a lot turned into this. Basically what we've got here is the Roborock S6 which you can see in the video making this filter clogged or wet error and then it says it's lowered the fan speed. Uh, this is the result of my investigation. So it's not in all of its pieces but it is in a lot of its pieces. And what I have found is that this exhaust section here has these two little filters in them. They're sponge and they're filthy. Interestingly, that's the vacuum part of this. All the rest of this machine is chassis, electronics, a little bit of drive wheels. What I'm doing is I'm gonna clean these out with the compressor, blow all of that dust out, put the whole thing back together. It actually looks like these have been wet as well as dirty and that's trapped more moisture into it. And you can see there on the desk, just as I pick it up and move it about, the dust that's coming out of it. I'll give it a bit of a blowout, then I'm gonna put this whole thing back together. Hopefully that's going to result in no longer having that frustrating error. Now I did watch a video somewhere where somebody was using a later model and showed how to clean the exhaust vent out. Clearly, this has been designed not to be easily serviceable. It is serviceable, but at a great cost. If you really didn't know about this filter in here and you weren't prepared to go digging like I did, you probably would have chucked this vacuum cleaner out by now to get a new one because for some reason it just can't maintain the um, vacuum pressure that it used to. But I think all it is, is this little two foam filters. Since I'm actually this far into it, I think I'm gonna just whip those last two screws that are holding the vacuum assembly in position and just make sure that there's no dirt and dust in the duct that leads up to it. So I actually just forgot to press record, but this little mesh here was covered in dust as well. So I think I've found the root cause of the issue behind this vacuum throwing up a continuous error. I'm quite confident now that when I put this thing back together, this machine is going to be working like it was when it was new. So I'm just going to put this whole thing back together again now. That's the exhaust vent there. You can see there's a bit of dust around, so I'm gonna blow that as well. A lot of people faced with this problem of having a continuous error people would have thrown this vacuum cleaner away once it started misbehaving like this. The point I'm trying to make with this video is that this device is 100% user serviceable. You can buy spare parts for this vacuum cleaner. You can dismantle the entire thing with no special tools whatsoever, just a number one and a number two Phillips head screwdriver. And this entire unit was able to be disassembled. I like to keep my machines 
for as long as possible. The most sustainable thing you can do with a machine is keep it running because the manufacturer of a new machine requires a significant amount of resources. So from an environmental perspective, reusing, keeping things in good condition, servicing and repairing regularly is one way to really help reduce your impact on the environment. I look forward to sharing more of my fixing and repairing in the future. Until next time, bye for now.